I'm back and hopefully you can see this pretty well. Uh, right now I've got my sponge all wet, ready to go. My soldering iron is fairly heated up. I'm about to tin my soldering iron so it makes for an easier joint. Uh, right now I'm actually using, I'm going to try, I got a lead free solder. It's 99.3% 10.7% copper and it's a rosin core so I can't really see it from here but it's small and what I'm going to attempt to do is I want to do this corner first then this corner that'll hold the circuit board in place then I could take my tape off and then I'm going to rearrange the board so I can hit this from the back side without heating up anything that I've already soldered by accident. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to put a little, going to clean, get my tip all kind of ready to go. And in addition to that, I'm going to make sure that this thing is going to be really clean and let's let's start to hit this very slowly I have my light on for my helping hands I hope you can see this I'm about to do this joint now the other video sometimes videos show things pretty good what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this against the pin and I'm gonna heat up the contact this may take a while and you want this to draw itself over to the pin. It really depends how hot your soldering iron is. We'll wait and see what happens. What I'd like to do too is show you another little trick is if you put a little bit of this on your tip we'll put a little bit I gotta go out of the video frame here. It's easier to see when I, I want to tin the tip a little bit. Now let's give this a try. Okay. There we go. Okay, so hopefully you caught that on video. I just heated it up just enough, and if you're looking at this right now, we've got a nice little bead right on that joint, and it's on that joint only. I'm going to reposition and do the other joint on the other side. Now that my soldering gun is hot enough, We'll try to do it. Hopefully my video is catching this. Put my camera down a little bit lower. I'm liking that. That's pretty good. A little bit of scrub right there. You can get rid of that like that. So now I'm going to clean my soldering tip and my sponge. You could probably hear it. I'm going to tin the tip of my soldering iron so it stays nice and clean. Put it back on my stand. And that's pretty much the start of that. Now, once again, I said I'm going to reposition the circuit board so I can take my soldering iron. I'm going to use my solder to simulate where my soldering iron is going to be. I'm going to be putting my soldering iron here here, 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 and I'm going to be putting my solder, I'm going to bend it because I could bend my solder, but I can't bend my soldering iron, and I'll be putting my solder there, and there, and there. I want to get these at opposite angles, and the reason why I'm doing it this way is so I can do the whole thing 
and then when I flip the circuit board around, I'm not bumping into anything that I've already done. But that's what your finished look should look like. Hopefully you're getting that on view. Nice, rounded, little teardrop. I'll see you on the next video when this circuit board is done.